Buckle up, kids. God <laughs> intended for there to be only two genders. <sighs> that's not what we're talking. That's not the same thing. Like to even conflate this as the same thing is wild. Someone having yeah. both chromosomes. That's not the same thing. Yeah. Bruce Lawn. We are going to be jumping into a multi-part video of Jubilee's detransition crowd versus the T-R-A-N-S crowd. You know what I'm talking about? They're the T and the LGTV community. And kudos to Jubilee, okay? Because the detransition community seldom gets platformed. The detransition community seldom even gets respected as real. And so I'm super happy that Jubilee put this video together. I think there's some really good stuff here. Um, and I wanted to jump in and, and, and look at it with my buddy Arthur, who's here from Apologia Center. Buckle up, kids. <laughs> God intended for there to be only two genders. <sighs> wow. Man. The shape came out. Okay, you go first. Okay, so as a Christian, I truly believe that God created male and female. And Shout out to David for being a Christian. Well done, David. That's amazing. Praise God. Okay, now he goes on to say something a little goofy here. We're going to have just scales. And he created that throughout life, throughout the nature, uh, throughout the wildlife, throughout, you know, earth itself. And then the arguments come up into the ocean sides of, well, there's these asexual creatures and stuff like that. Well, they were designed that way for a reason. And we humans were not designed to... Uh, we were designed to procreate and be able to bring life back to the earth because we live and we die, we live and we die. We get a rotation of, of a process of life right. in itself and it's its own journey. Right. So I truly do believe that there is male and there is female, but I can respect people's choices. However, that's where I stand on it. That's good. Well, I'm not Christian, but I do believe there's only two biological sex and somehow that's how it's been designed, whether it's by higher power or by evolution. I do believe gender expression has been on a spectrum for centuries. So we do have references to people who've been cross-dressing. We have references to eunuchs. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. we got it in, was it Leviticus, right? There's a verse about man shouldn't cross-dress. Yeah. Right? So yes, we've had men who, and women who've been expressing their sure. identity in yeah. different ways for, yeah. And as somebody who went through transition and detransition, when I started taking testosterone, it's almost like reminded me of my original blueprint. And I felt like I went against my original blueprint and I did a lot of damage to it. And I just cannot go back to who I was because without my testicles, I'm just too far gone in my transition. So that's where I'm at. No testicles, man. Gosh. Can the disagree step forward? I want to see this. Uh, hey, uh, we hang on. Can we take a guess? Uh, somebody said, I, I bet you not everyone who's going to be saying this is an atheist. And I would agree with that. Yeah. I don't yeah. think not everyone's going to be. I think a lot of this is going to come out of like, here's what my view of God oh, is. Oh, yeah. And I think God Here's is my gonna, dogma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my dogma yeah, they're gonna be you very, need to believe. Very, they're going to be very, quote unquote, uh, spiritual. Yep. Historically spent more time focusing on and celebrating several genders. There are several different cultures throughout the yeah. world. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Watch this. Tell me, tell me why this always happens. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to what he says. Yeah. You know... We have historically spent more time focusing on and celebrating several genders. There are we have spent more time celebrating several genders. Okay, okay. listen, yeah. what he says next. There are several different cultures throughout the yeah. world mm -hmm. that that celebrate the different genders and to negate the fact that they exist and to negate their their validity is just wrong. There now, whenever this is said, no one references these cultures, where they exist, what does this mean, how celebrated they were. Where are the studies? Where's the history? You say this stuff in a very ambiguous way yeah. without ever providing any sources for this. We have always spent time talking about yeah. multiple genders Makes sense, exp expressed across multiple. Where? Where are they at? Right? And then listen to this. Intersex is an umbrella term used to describe a wide range of natural variations that affect genitals, gonads, hormones, chromosomes, or reproductive organs. 1.7% of the population is born with intersex traits. That does not mean that 1.7% of the population is born with a penis and a vagina. Correct. No one's born with a penis and a vagina. There are some people- Fully functional. Fully yeah. functional, right? So this this this, this entire idea is 1.7% are born with, listen to the language, this is amnesty.org, right? With intersex traits. Correct. So 1.7% with intersex rates, meaning that there are uh, tall-looking women, a disproportionate amount of them tend to be models, by the way. I'm not sure if you know this, Arthur, but a, a huge amount of models are tall. They they have 
the seeming organs of what looks like a hand down there. They have breasts, but their insides mm. are, are like inverted. Yeah, gen genetically and stuff. Yeah, like that. Okay. they're they, right, I, so, I didn't know models, but yeah. but they're function. They, they look and and live as women, right? And they 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 carry themselves as women. They get into relationships mm -hmm. with men, but that's not what we're talking. That's not the same thing. Like to even conflate this as the same thing is wild. Someone having yeah. both chromosomes, that's not the same thing. Yeah. I just want to remind us that this was a question that was asked. That's a theological question by nature. Mm. So we're gonna answer it theologically. There are as many in people as there are redheaded people on the planet. I can name 12 people at the top of my head who are born intersex. So to, to pretend like mm. there's man and woman is- There's as many intersex, no, there's as many people with intersex traits. Correct, and redheaded people? What's the population of redheads? It's very small, Injures, probably yeah. about one, one or two percent. Yeah. Well, yeah, very small. Just erasing an entire group of people. The God you speak of, the first God that intersex people get to meet is the doctor because it's up to their discretion. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay, uh, that tells me a lot about you and the your views. The first God you'll get to meet is, is the doctor. doctor that assigns your gender. What an L. Uh, yeah, doctors are humans. I don't treat them as gods. I, I trust science, but I don't elevate scientists to, to, to level deities. of deity. Yeah of just mm. what you're gonna be when they wow. mutilate their body to be a man or a woman, and that is not fair. Yeah. When, so, they okay, when they mutilate their body so, so I get to be what, a man I, or a woman. I, I get what they're trying to do. So someone's born uh, uh, intersex, and then the doctor makes the decision. The doctor technically, and I know they've made mistakes because they're human, uh, but here's what the doctors are essentially asking or should be asking. Which one of these organs that we have present is the one that's the functional one? They're mm -hmm. asking a biological question. Sure. Uh, because the one that's the functional one is the one that someone's going to be able to live with. Well, 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 again, what percentage of this is even happening? What but, percentage of babies correct, being born so, have two organs like this? This is, by the way, a, a red herring because the question was asked about God. Right. Uh, and so this is a red herring, right? Like it's taking us somewhere else. But okay. Yeah. It's such a, you're talking about such a small percentage of yeah. people that have what appear, what could appear to be. Both genitals. Traits. Traits. And how many percent of them actually, the doctors make the wrong decision? Right. That the grow up and say, this was the wrong decision. Right. I don't want to be this. Right. Because it doesn't seem to me that the community is all saying, we're all intersex and the decision was wrong. Right. Right. So they're not. Right. I'm not, by the way, by the way, I'm not saying that a low percentage means not important. Yeah. I'm saying 1% is not 10%. Are we clear? There's a huge difference between saying, hey, and it's not even 1%. Okay, folks that are actually born intersex is a very, very because because there's biological markers for that. Folks born intersex, well, biological mark, that is completely different than someone that is born and is a biological male or female that feels on the inside that they are something else. We're not Which I'm not talking about those most, people. Most, most. Hey, you want to see something crazy? 67% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. None of these people sitting here claim to be in the box, by the way. I want to say that. Yeah, so it, it is a red herring, and it's conflating the two. Yeah, yeah. It's conflating the two. That's yeah, false equivocation. Yes, We're just throwing not. this stuff out, by the way, because they're logical fallacies, informal fallacies. Right. Right. Right, and I think also gender and male and female is not the Biological same thing. Biological Yeah, we're talking about gender, which is like gender, gender identity, the social aspects to being a man or a woman. Another Planned Parenthood uh, yeah, but citation. This, this definition, Another Planned way, Parenthood citation, though. It's just funny to me that because this definition is like, since when? Yesterday? Right, right. So where it, it benefited your argument to make this distinction? Right. So this is a label, male or, or female, that you're assigned by a doctor at birth. <laughs> based on the genitals you're born with and the chromosomes you have. Gender is much more complex. It's right. it's social and legal status. Yeah, I what, just disagree what, with that premise. What legal status? I just disagree with the premise of it being social. Yeah, I mean, even in the verbiage of that, social and legal status, what legal status? Yeah. What legal status do men have that women don't have? What legal well, status? Well, they, they probably wouldn't say men and women. They would say, well, look at individuals that are like gender fluid. They have no legal status. Like in the sense, like on their ID card, it, it, it says male or female. It doesn't say fluid sure. or non-binary or something like so that. So have a third layer. Who cares? But it's not a legal status, right? Like like it, it just makes it sound like like men have more legal rights than women. Yeah, or something. Like that's kind of how it reads to me. Uh, and set of expectations from society about behaviors, characteristics, and thoughts. Planned Parenthood. Thank yeah. you, Planned Parenthood, because you're so trustworthy. Mm -hmm. um, but male and female dictates.
parts. It's well, only I, body I, parts. I disagree with the having sex and gender being two different things. I don't want to be one. So I, I, that's I not a fact. That's not a fact. Look, look. Let, let me teach you guys something about argumentation. And you guys can read Greg Kokel's book, uh, Tactics, on this. I'm uh -huh. currently teaching through a series on it. When somebody says something, when somebody asserts something, that's not an argument. Right. They're just asserting something. Right. You don't say, well, here's the way I define gender and sex. And somebody goes, I disagree with your premise. And you go, that's a fact. No, it's not. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> it's an opinion. Well, it's, the, it's an assertion. It's an assertion. Yeah. You, you, if somebody has, the person who disagrees with you has the complete right to ask you for an argument right. for your assertion. Yep. yep. If you can't give one, usually it's going to be the strong arm thing. It's a fact. Or you're anti-science. Right. Or you're, you know, X, Y, and Z. Right. There is, um, they're the same, they're one and the same. They're not different, but we have evolutionary problems within the humanity because I also see that there are intersex, people, intersex animals that do exist, but, and that's how they're born. But I also do believe that the initial design was for man and woman, and then somewhere along the way, viruses, mutations, diseases, uh, plagues, all that type of stuff that we have in the world does play a part back onto are onto the world itself, but I believe the initial intent was for God to create Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. No, he did not need to say that. <laughs> so far, he was doing really good. He's doing really good, but you he didn't need to go there. Yeah. We did we we get it, bud. You could have said all of that except the oh, God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And so and now you've you set yourself up. You stepped in yeah. to the freaking bear trap. Yep. You did that to yourself. So you if I was, done that. Uh, as we're watching, if I was him, I, I would have asked uh, the individual that made the statement about this is a, that's a fact. Yeah, I would have said something like, "How is it a fact?" Yeah, yeah. Can how how a, is it? A fact? Yeah, that's can you point? please give me? That's like Greg uh, Greg Coco. You know, how did you come to that conclusion? Right. How did you? Come yeah. Out Columbo yeah. tactic two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So watch their response. Of course, everyone's going to lose. Yeah, it. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to say it. Um, that's I know it sounds horrible. And I understand yeah, so it, it, is. it is. Okay, okay but notice the response is like, <laughs> you're yep. all like yep. it's there's no argument given. Yep. There's no like, hey, Label. by the way, we believe this and that. You're a big, you're a bigot, you're a bad you're person. Yeah. Yep. But again, he stepped into it. Oh, right. You guys made me transition, and that's what you're perpetuating right now. I grew up in a very horrible family, and since I was a kid, I was always brainwashed. Said bad my parents were not happy that i was naturally feminine they always tried to make me more masculine they tried to give me to masculine sports i was mercilessly bullied at school for my femininity constantly being told that i'm not a real man mm -hmm. that i'm a sissy and when i came out to my parents as gay um they took me to therapist and tried to do con pretty much for me which failed so, I so um yeah that there's that. I don't believe in God. I believe in people that exist right in front of me, and I believe they should have the right to exist. And so I'm not saying they don't have the right to exist. I'm no, just saying, I mean, I'm just saying I, that I that mean, was they the weren't mistakes intent. either. They're just here the way you and I are here right, right now, and they are who they are, and we have to accept people as they are. Right, and there are biological biological differences in trans when we look at the yeah. brainstem. You know, our brainstems are different. Like that's neurologically. That's, right, neurologically, we're we're different. I highly doubt there's the science to show this. Um, let's let's look it up. The thing is that neurology, uh, neuroscience is such a new field where you make statements like this uh, I'm, I'm just like immediately skeptical because it's a very very new science there could be all sorts of reasons by the way why your brain stem could be different as well I, I would assume so this is the ncbi nih gender people report discomfort with their image and acquisition all brain images were acquired on the same uh tesla mra shout out to elon he got the he got the teslas on 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 lock and so independent training sample okay image acquisition so this is how they came up with the sample so they did so this is a pretty a pretty big group they mm. did here right using tenfold variation results Felt. the classifier the classifier performed at 90 percent accuracy when assessed in the training sample and 88 percent accuracy when assessed in our 48 cisgendered brains these measures indicate a suitable classification performance and a reliable distinction between the sets based on brain autonomy. The estimated brain was significantly different between the a between the three groups of gendered women was estimated 0.75 to point plus or minus. Okay. Thus, hovering between cisgendered men and cisgendered women, albeit closer to cisgendered men. The follow-up post. Ho, uh, what does that say? Post hoc? Post hoc test revealed that trans 
transgendered women were significantly more female. The transgender women were significantly more female than cisgendered men, but significantly less female than cisgendered women. So they're saying that there's a brain difference. Yeah, but the, the, the issue is studies like this could have potential issues. And, and that is you don't know what could have been done as to, to get that result, mm -hmm. right? Like, so somebody spoke about, we just sat here and spoke about all these individuals who are, who all of them said had like issues essentially. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, wh why can't we conclude that maybe those sorts of thinking, that sort of whatever, or trauma they've gone through mm -hmm. produced their brain to be that way. Right. It, it, it just, studies like this are, are not very solid in my opinion. So it sounds like the, the, the consensus was that they they had a smaller volume in the left prostorio superior hemisphere of the cerebellum compared okay. to male controls in a smaller volume of the right inferior or frontal cortex compared to female controls. So there's some so so his the argument is that there's something different with regards to the brain. Now my question would Wait, be, they're more or so le they're more or less male or female? Yeah, it, that's that's what it sounds like because So there are two genders just they're just Right, 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 right. But have we tested this uh, against a control group of just regular folks? Like feminine guys. Right. Feminine who, guys, masculine women. Who don't women. identify right. as right. anything else other than hey, just, That would be the way dude. to I would think that would be the way to run that experiment more accurately. Correct. Test women against tomboys yeah you know what i mean and see how see what those numbers look like but anyway that's that's neither here nor there yeah and male so, and female are different how, exactly <laughs> see <laughs> <They're different. laughs> yes. they've found a mm -hmm. distinct difference in the the oh, cortex matter. there is no no there is no biomarker for some <laughs> brain scan of some males is identical to female brain but there is no bio whoa did you catch that? Shape shape came with the is coming yeah. with the facts. Now again, I, we have to go and fact check all this, but yeah. she's saying there's no difference. Marker for trans. Listen, Think difference in the the oh, cortex. Wait, there is no <laughs> no there is no biomarker for trans. Some <laughs> brain scan of some males is identical to female brain, but there is no biomarker for trans. Please don't spread misinformation. There's there's science that hints towards it. It's just not confirmed. No, there's, well, confirmed. there's confirmed. research. Hey, hey, come on, man. And 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 that, and that, then that when that somebody comes out and it. says, hey, there's some science that hints against the jab. Right. People. Call Right, yeah. So <laughs> therefore, it's also done just a belief that there is, but there is no scientific fact to back that up, which therefore I believe that God's initial intent was to create male I and female. I think if God intended to, if God exists and in the way that you believe, okay, so that's, and okay, so we got just atheism intended to in make there. male and female, then and so we, we wouldn't be he, sitting yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. I believe. That's I believe. not true. That's a false dichotomy. So if God intended X, then Y wouldn't be happening. Right. That's just not true. God could intend X and give people a freedom of the will, which would produce Y. That's Notice good. I didn't use any, like I didn't fill in the X and Y. Right, 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 yeah, that's And good. because it's, it's for any argument that's true. Right, right, correct. For example, let's just say, if God wanted everyone to be saved, then everyone would be saved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, it's very legitimately the case as scripture attests that God wants everyone to be saved and everyone is not saved because of another factor in between that. Yeah. However, your theology answers that out. Yeah, that's good. Inner six in, people would in, in a higher power, right, of my own. Why do they keep conflating, conflating intersex? Does that not just Because seem... it's the only way you could argue for this. Yeah. I think it's mad disingenuous. Yeah. I think the issues that intersex people have are completely different than the issues that trans people have. If I were sitting there, I would have just asked all of them, do, do any one of you guys, or any of you guys, uh, intersex? Yeah. Or, I mean... To see who says yes. Like, or, how about folks who are intersex? probably get treated way different because there's an actual biological yeah. marker there. Or people who are inner who just decide to be completely fine and okay with the sex that uh, was assigned. Yeah, was assigned. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and God is not this thing that creates rules and binary situations. How do you know that? Laws that can be broken. Sorry, sorry, man. Hey, hang on. You're jumping into my theology here. Uh, God is out. not with the certainty, when, when, with when, the dogma. Uh, it's the same. It's dogma. It's, just, well, it's earlier, fundamentalism inverted. Earlier on, this individual said, "If God exists," and then now is making this very elaborate statement on what God does and doesn't do, or can and cannot do. Yeah, that's a fact. So, Nearly made. We're just all here. Yeah. You know, like I was born in a female um, body, but sorry, I was that's a truism. So I'm throwing terms out because it's like saying, uh, "I am me." Yeah. You're not, and then what? Yeah. We're just all here. We understand you're here. That's the disagreement is over wh whatever you're doing, whether that's right, wrong, in the middle, 
X, Y, and Z. Yep. Yep. That's good. That's good. Never a girl. Never. Ever. Ever. I can't explain why, but that is the, my truth. That is the fact. That is who I've always been. And there's no way that I'm going to look up at this guy at some guide and be like, oh, yeah, you made me as a mistake. Uh, like another false dichotomy, right? God correct. Made, it's either I'm a boy or God made a mistake. Yeah, or it, it could be, hey, we live in a fallen world and all sorts of crazy stuff happens. Yep. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month where you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store only five dollars a month and ultimately it's the best way to help us conceptualize the gospel of jesus using media podcasting and of course youtube the link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment the perks are amazing you should get on there it's only five dollars a month i'll see you over there all right peace